In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a drop-down list for search for something in Excel and VBA. Now, this is um, a video that's similar to what I've done before, where you're selecting one month or a couple of weeks, whatever, out of a longer schedule. So you can just see, like, for example, you want to see what May is looking like. Now, um, it's coming, this is just showing you the month. But if you go to the second one that goes years, it is much longer. It goes forever and ever. And so that you, you can see all of the year if you want, but you can just see the month on this one sheet here. Now, the problem is, is that on the previous version, I had people entering in the, the entire date here. And they're, they're, the problem is, is that the date format, um, the date format is, is, is because it's Microsoft is an American company, the, um, the date format is an American format, which is the month, day, year. And for example, in Canada, where I'm Canadian, uh, the normal is a day, month, year. And so that caused some confusion when people were entering in the date. Now in this way, they just select the month, and if you wanted to change the year, you'd select the year as well. But so now that we've selected the month, then we don't have to worry about the format. It's going to assume that we're doing it for June 1st. And then you click on the button and you'll have the, the June 1st, um, the June 1st month, 30 days from June 1st put into the, put into your schedule here. So let me show you the code and how I did this. So here's my code, it's called copy data, and I, I've declared my year is long, S date, which is the start date, as date, find range as range, my month name as a string, and my month name is, why I'm, is because you're not getting a one or a two here, you're getting June, which is the, the text version of the month. Okay, and then we have C as a row, as column, R as a row, and they're both long, and then dim month uh, month h which is like the the number for the month as an integer okay so my month equals sheet two range a4 and so so that would be this one right here and then my year is sheet two range b4 which is your year right there now what i've done to get the month date or the month number for here i say month equals date value of um, my month name, which we have up here, and I put a one and an ampersand in my month name, and then you're going to end up with the date, the date number or the month number here now, and S date is uh, my month number, ampersand, so it's and, plus we have our um, forward slash um, to divide the dates, and then I'm assuming that every Every month is going to start on the first. That's where you're going to want to see. And then an ampersand and whatever you have is your year value here. Now, um, then I go to sheet one, which is my years, my years one, which has all got all the data. And I set find range equals rows um, with R, which is five and two to 94. That's, I've only got that far into here. And I find my start date. And if it doesn't find anything, then it says uh, date not found. And else, what you've done is you're going to select the find range that you found, and then you say range active cell. So you get your active cell is your find range, and you're going to offset it by 30 to get 30 days, plus 20 rows to get everybody on the thing. And then you go sheet activate 2, which is your month, and then you go sheet 2 cells uh, 9, uh, nine two or sorry nine three and then you paste and paste special and excel paste all and then go to nd and then we're going to uh, uh, application copy mode equals false and that's going to um, turn off your marching ants on your uh, on your year sheet and then you go to sheet sheet to activate which is back to the sheet that we're in i will of course include the the code in the description of my video Please subscribe.